Alright, so it's pretty clear what you're looking at. You're looking at a Lego model in a HoloLens. And I don't quite understand why it's taken so long for somebody to just go ahead and do this. It only took me a few steps to make it happen. Um, Lego sells something called the Lego, Lego Virtual Design System or some such. You can download it today and start building models on it right now on your desktop. Um, it outputs a pretty strange format, unfortunately, so it took me a few steps and a few different tools to get it into uh, another tool where I could actually download it or, or uh, output it as an FBX. And of course, once I'd done that, it was pretty easy to get into a HoloLens. FBX is a pretty common format. In any event, um, this is a pretty complex model. Um, you'll notice it's not particularly performant, but uh, there's no reason we couldn't run algorithms on it to determine what sides don't need to be rendered. Um, but this is like each block, each individual block is fully resolved, as you can see. And it's got, each one has quite a number of facets. You can see all the facets on these cylinders and so forth. Whoops. Oh, it's starting to fly around on me. Well, that's kind of cool, huh? Woo! Anyway, so, you know, we're worried about young people being able to build stuff and create stuff. And uh, I don't think that's a worry because these kids are so used to Legos. I know I grew up with them, and I'm sure kids are still playing with them now. But, you know, these things are constructed effectively on a three-dimensional grid, you know, you see the little pips, you remember the little pips that cover the surface of Legos. That will effectively create a snap grid and no matter how clumsy a person might be, they should be able to get their their little bricks to snap together quite nicely and you can be build very refined objects like this with the clumsiest systems. You know, you don't need perfect hand tracking. You should be able to Use the grid system to augment your ability to put the bricks in just the right places you want. And you can imagine your Legos spread out all over the table, virtually, and uh, you can call for the ones you need, and your creativity is only limited by what pieces you think you should use. And then once it's built, you can check it out from all angles. You can explode it, which I'm not going to do, but, you know... Why is this such a hard concept for people to grasp that children will be able to build something so easily? Any kid can play with Legos. You got Duplo. You know, this could just as easily be Duplo. And now you've got four and five year old kids building buildings and toys and all kinds of stuff. And then once you've got it resolved as a fully functioning object here, you can embed behaviors in it. You know, that's the next step. Building something shouldn't be hard. The hard part's going to be making it be the thing you've built. And soling the object. Like this collection of vertices doesn't know it's an X-Wing fighter. But even a child should be able to imbue it with the most basic behaviors of, you know, opening the cockpit, firing up the engines, opening and closing the wings. That, that should be one of the basics. Maybe they might even be able to pull R2-D2 out of there. You know, put some different astromech in there. But uh, anyway, Legos. It's the Occam's razor for building in VR for kids. Let's get started.